Can I take them to Moscow? Why do you want to take them to Moscow? This is the government hospital. The treatment will take time here. I want to give her the best treatment. Moscow has the best medical facilities. Yes, it would be better, as you wish, madam. Thank you. I will make all the necessary arrangements. Okay, I will help you with the paperwork. I'm grateful for your help. Can you please take me to see my grandson? I would like to spend a little time with him. Okay, follow me. Ethan. I saw him. The baby is very small, but the conditions there are really bad. Then? What are you going to do? Yes, I made an agreement. Rosa and the baby will be transferred to Moscow today. What next? What do you mean next? If Rosa agrees, they will live at our place. Oh, would you? You are going to let this fraud into our house. Ethan, she is the mother of my grandchild. Mike's child is one matter, but his wife is a completely different story. She will not stay with us. Rosa is Mike's wife. They had lawful marriages. You want to help her? There are thousands of homeless people. Just give her money. Please try to understand, honey. I love my grandson. I'm begging you. Fine, mother. But if anything goes wrong, it's on you. Thank you, honey. Where am I? How did I get here? You are in Moscow. You were transferred while sleeping. And my son, where is he? Your son is here. He has been waiting for you to wake up. My boy, my sweet boy. He is so nice. I have never seen anyone like that before. He seems very healthy and strong. My sweetie, you are so beautiful. Thank you, sister. Thank you for taking care of him. You know, they have never given him to me before. Now the baby will always be with mommy. You will recover soon, you will both go home. I wish we had a home. Could you tell me please why we have been transferred? Mrs. Amber arranged this. We have special machines for tiny babies born early. And Mrs. Amber is? Your mother-in-law. Rosa, she is a wonderful woman. She loves her grandchild so much. What? What did you just call me? Rosa. Don't you remember your name, miss? The doctor had warned me that you might have partial memory loss after the accident. But don't worry, you will recover soon. No, no, there was another woman on the bus with me. I forgot her name. You went through something really hard. So don't keep thinking about it. It's better not to get too sad. Take some rest and look after yourself. Where could Lena be? She should have been home from work by now. I hope nothing bad has happened to her. She never stays out without letting me know. Something must be wrong. Oh, I hope she is okay. What if she is in trouble? So, everything is ready, isn't it? Yes, madam, everything is ready. The room is all set up for the baby. Thank you for your hard work. I want everything to be perfect for my grandson. It was my pleasure, madam. 
I have made sure everything is clean and comfortable. I appreciate your attention to detail. Rosa and the baby deserve the best. Hello. Madam. Rosa is trying to escape from the hospital. Please come to the hospital. What? Try to keep her from leaving. I will be right there. Yes, madam. I'm doing my best to convince her to stay. Thank you for letting me know. I will be there as soon as I can. Lady, please, I can't stay here. It's personal. Could you please just bring me my clothes right now? If you don't want to listen to me, just wait until your mother-in-law comes. She is not my mother-in-law. Well, whoever she is, she cares about you and the baby. You need to stay here and rest. I just need to leave. I can't stay in this hospital. It's for your own safety and the safety of your child. Please try to understand. What happened? Mrs. Amber, we can't make patients stay if they don't want to. Please talk to your daughter-in-law and try to convince her. She really needs medical treatment. Can you please give us a moment alone? Rosa, I can understand. I can understand that you don't want to talk to me. But please, give me 10 minutes. Listen madam, please let me go my home. Please, give me a few minutes. I know you see me as a bad person and a bad mother. I haven't seen Mike for a year, and I haven't even heard his voice. Please forgive me, if you think that you can. I know Mike forgave you a long time ago. I'm begging you, just give me a chance. Let me take care of the baby. I will do everything for him. Please, come with us. I don't know, I don't know. You don't need to rush. Take your time and decide what you want to do. I will be the best grandmother, think about your baby. Please give me some time to think about it. Okay. I promise you, I will do everything in my power to support you. I'm waiting for your decision. I'm not sure what to do. Should I go with her? What if they find out I'm not Rosa? Oh God, please help me. I have to take care of my baby.